that for the first time in human history, for the first time in all of human history, almost all of mankind is politically awake. And these new and old major powers face still yet another novel reality, in some respects unprecedented. And it is that while the lethality, the lethality of their power is greater than ever, their capacity to impose control over the politically awakened masses of the world is at a historical low. I once put it rather pungently, and I was flattered that the British Foreign Secretary repeated this as follows. Namely, in earlier times, it was easier to control a million people, literally. It was easier to control a million people than physically to kill a million people. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. It is easier to kill than to control. What do you have? Power. What do you think is power? Whips, guns, money? You can't turn men into slaves unless you break their spirit, kill their capacity to think and act on their own. Tie them together, teach them to conform, to unite, to agree, to obey. That makes one neck ready for one leash. They had all this on the shelf somewhere ideas of things they would like to do. And they got 9-11 and they said, that's our chance, go for it. The Patriot Act supersedes, basically, is superseding the Constitution. The US military is making plans for a major outbreak of swine flu. Troops will be used to help civilian authorities. The military has offered to be there to provide uh, testing for H1N1 to the public, um, and also to distribute vaccines once they've been developed. Is in blue, the pia, a transmissions will resume. I try to push, try to keep us all down, down, and hold up. But we will never see the truth around. Another promise, another scene, another a package like to keep us trapped in. Go back to bed, America. Your government has figured out how it all transpired. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Is it safe? Expediency asks the question is it politic? Vanity asks the question is it popular? But conscience asks the question is it right? And there comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, not politic, not popular, but he must do it because conscience tells him it is right. And the time when the operation of the machine so odious, makes you so sick at heart, that you can't take part, you 
can't even passively take part. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, by all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. An oppression so revolts its subjects that it becomes necessary to alter or abolish the means of that tyranny. Is it that time when our Bill of Rights is defiled every day? When our adventures abroad threaten our security at home? When the Federal Reserve keeps our free nation enslaved by debt? And now our nation is drifting dangerously from freedom to fascism. So I have to ask, is it time?